हेलो रनर वेलकम इन माई लेक्चर ऑफ वेब टैक आई एम पवन कुमार असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर कंप्यूटर आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी नैनीताल टुडे आई विल डिस्कस द टॉपिक नेम क्लाइंट साइट एंड सर्वर साइट टेक्नोलॉजी बेसिक ऑफ एस टी एम एल एस टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट स्ट्रक्चर द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस इज बेसिक ऑफ वेब टेक्नोलॉजी क्लाइंट साइट टेक्नोलॉजी सर्वर साइट टेक्नोलॉजी एस टी एम एल एंड एस टी एम एल एग्जाम्पल सो बेसिक ऑफ वेब टेक्नोलॉजी वेब टेक्नोलॉजी डिस्क्राइब द नूमरस मैथड्स एंड टूल्स यूज इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ इंट्रैक्टिंग विद वेरियस इंटरनेट कनेक्टेड डिवाइजेस इट्स यूज टू क्रिएट और डेवलप वेबसाइट्स फॉर द डब्ल्यू 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 और इंटरनेट टू एक्सेस वेब पेज यूटिलाइज आर वेब ब्राउजर वेब ब्राउजर सॉफ्टवेयर इंटरफेस कैन बी यूज टू एक्सेस वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब रिसोर्सेज डेट आर हाइपर लिंक सो इट इज सो टेक्स डाटास इमेजेस एनिमेशन एंड वीडियोज ऑन द इंटरनेट Web browser software interface can be used to access worldwide web resources that are hyperlinked. It also so text data, images, animation, and videos on the internet. Web technology types. There are various web technology types in which, firstly, client side technology, HTML. Hyper text markup language, XHTML, extensible HTML, CSS, cascading, style sheet, and JavaScript. Next web te technology type is server side technology, in which PHP, hyper text preprocessor, Node JS, Python, C sharp, Ruby. java storage in storage mongo db mysql maria db and posri next is multimedia flash animation sound interactive and visual effect so in client side technology firstly we discuss HTML, HTML stand for Hyper Text Markup Language. It is used to create web pages front end using a markup language. The definition of a hyper text is to link between two web pages. The the written documentation contained within the tag that specifies the structure of web pages. is defined using markup language next is xhtml xhtml stand for extensible hypertext markup language xml is a markup language where all document must be well formed it is more xml based version of html xhtml is html defined as an xml application to make html more editable and extendable so that it could interact with other data types and xml was created such as xml next is css the process of making web pages attractive and more easier with the use of css often known as cascading style sheet applying styles to web pages is possible with the help of css you may accomplish this using css without relying on the html that create each web pages the next is javascript the famous scripting language javascript is used to work on website to make them interactive for users it is 
used to make interesting web based games and applications. The next is PHP. So it is a server side technology. The server side scripting language PHP was created primarily for building websites. PHP is referred to as server side scripting language since it codes executed on the server. The next server side technology is Node.js. Java script code can be run outside of a browser using the open source cross platform run environment, environment known as Node.js for creating backend services like API for web app or mobile app we frequently employed Node.js. Large corporation like PayPal, Uber, Netflix, Walmart and other employ it in their production processes. Next server side technology is Python. Python is a programming language that enables quick work and more effective system integration. Python is a high level general purpose programming language that is interpreted. Python design philosophy places a strong emphasis on code reliability through the use of noticeable identification. Next server side technology is C sharp. Modern object oriented general purpose programming language C sharp is pronounced as C sharp. It was created by Microsoft under the direction of Anders Hazelberg and his team as a part of the .NET program. It was created and it was endorsed by the International Standard Organization ISO and the European Computer Manufacturer Association ECMA ISO. Next server side technology is Ruby. Yuki Hero Matsumoto created Ruby a wholly object oriented language programming language ruby is dynamic reflective object oriented and multi-purpose in ruby everything is an object with the exception of blocks making ruby functions as a logical barrier between human programmer and the underlying computer uh, infrastructure was the main goal of it development Next server side technology is Java. Java one of the most well liked and often used pr platform and programming language is Java. It can scale up very well. Components for Java are widely accessible. Java a platform independent language is Java. Java code can be created on one platform and executed on another. It is employed in the creation of desktop and mobile applications, massive data processing, embedded devices and other projects. Next server side technology is storage. In storage, we firstly discuss MongoDB. Due to effective indexing and storing method, MongoDB is faster than RDMS of very editable an scalable document structure is possible with MongoDB. As an illustration, one data document in MongoDB collection might have two fields while another might have four. Next in storage MySQL and open source relational database management system is called MySQL. MySQL is based on RDBMS relational database management system. It is most often used database type for PHP, Oracle cooperation creates and distributes and support MySQL. A MySQL databases Data is kept in the tables made up of row and columns.
MariaDB is a top rated open source alternative to MySQL and one of the most widely used relational database management system. It is created by the people who created MySQL. Several tables can be used by MariaDB to store data. Next in storage we learn my PostgreSQL. The idea of creating association between data is the same for modern relational databases like MySQL, MariaDB, Apache Hive, etc. However, PostgreSQL offer additional features like table, inheritance, and function overloading because it supports the idea of data objects. Next is HTML. So, what is HTML? HTML is an acronym for Hypertext Markup Language, which is used to create web pages and web applications. With HTML, you can create your own website. Explain the structure of web pages. There are different elements in HTML. Browser receive instruction from HTML elements how to display content. This is a HTML example. In HTML pages, first we use the tag doc type HTML. This declaration defines that this document is an HTML document HTML5 document. Next we use the tag HTML. The HTML element is the root element of an HTML page. The next we use the tag head. It contains meta information about the HTML page. The next title we use in this is title. Element specify our title for pages. So in this example we title the page page title and finally we close the title tag and we also close the head tag. Next tag is body tag. Element define the document body and is a container for all visual content such as heading, paragraph, images, hyperlink, table, list, etc. And the h1 tag we use here in this example, it is element defined a large heading. So here we use my first heading and we close the head, uh, we close the heading tag h1. The next we use here p tag it defines a paragraph and here we use my first paragraph after we close the p tag. The next is html editor. html tags editor are used for web page creations and editing. You may create html code using an text editor simply types html code in any text editors and save document with the dot html or dot html extension some of the popular html text editor are listed below notepad notepad plus plus sublime text 3 this is the with this is the video with the help of this video you can understand the basic of html example so learning outcomes the learning outcome comes of this lecture is it create better understanding of basic of web technology and it types it create better understanding of client side technology like html xhtml css javascript it can also create better understanding of server side technology like PHP, Node.js, Python, C Sharp, 
Ruby, Java, and storage. It creates also better understanding of HTML with the help of example. Thanks.